Hello everyone, my name is Nilesh and best way of learning anything is learn by doing. This is 100% applicable to the software development field. So here I'm presenting a mini project idea which you can implement to learn software development. I have already implemented this project using Spring Boot REST API in backend while React in frontend. But you can try this application with Spring or ASP.NET Web MVC. You can also try it with the Spring Boot or ASP.NET or ExpressJS backend REST APIs and Angular or React as a frontend. You may even try this particular application into PHP. I used the backend database as MySQL. You may also try the database like MongoDB or any other database of your choice. So let me explain you the project requirement. The best way to put in this requirement could be a use case diagram. Now for this application, we have a single user role. As most of the e-commerce or other websites, you usually see there are multiple roles. Maybe one customer role, another is admin role and so on and so forth. As I mentioned, this application is really simple application. We have only a single user role and this user can register himself. User can perform sign in. He can also edit his profile details. User can add new category for the blog. User can display all these categories. Then user can create a new blog into the category. User can edit any of the existing blog or user may also delete the blog. Please note that the user can edit or delete his own blogs only. He cannot edit or delete blogs of someone else. User can view all the blogs and user can also see only his own blog. He can also explore the blogs. He can also search the blog content by some keywords. To get a better idea about this project, we have designed some screenshot. So these are some UI design screens. As I said, user can register himself. And for now, registration, we are collecting information like email, password, full name, phone number. You may also add other relevant details like birth date, address or anything else that you need. Then user can perform the login using email and password. After user is logged in, he will get some menu options like seeing his own blocks or all blocks. User can create a new category or show existing categories. He can add a new block or he can search the blocks. Now, if user click on all blocks or my blocks, he will get a screen like this, where we will display ID, title and category of the blog. If the blog belongs to that user, I want to show edit button and delete button. If blog is not created by current user, then this edit and delete button should not be displayed. However, here I cannot read the blog contents. To read the blog content on title, there will be hyperlink. And when I click on that hyperlink, I will be able to see the blog contents over here. I will be able to see blog title contents and category of the blog. Also, there is option like search blog. 
where user can enter some keywords and hit a search button. Now these keywords will be searched into the block titles and block contents. And again, the similar information will be shown over. Again, keep in mind, if the block belongs to that user, then edit and delete button should be visible. But how user is going to create a new block? To create a new block, it will be given one create block screen where user can enter title, contents and category will be selected from a drop down. When user click on create at that time, the block will get created into this category by currently logged in user. Exactly similar screen will be displayed when user click on the edit block button. At that time, this data is pre-filled and then update button will update that block. The way we can create the block, edit the block on delete click, we can also delete the block and after deleting the block, we will return back to the all blocks screen where again the deleted block should disappear from the list. As we can add a new block on the similar line, we can also add a new category. For each category, there will be ID, title and a description regarding that category. We will also have button for show categories and you may provide the functionality of edit category and delete category. Now, as you have visualized what exactly you need as output, let us think of the database design. This application is pretty simple. So the database that is required is really small database. In the small database, you will find that there is a user's table where ID is a primary key, full name of the user, email, password, phone number, and at what time the user is created. You may add the birth date or photo and that information will be stored into this table. The second table is categories table where ID is primary key, title of the category and description of that category. Next, we have the blocks table where ID is again a primary key, title of the block, content of the block. Of course, you need to take it bit longer, where care 300 or 3000, depending on how big block that you want to write it. The time at which the block is created, the user who authored this block, this is a foreign key to the user's table and the category ID, the category in which the blog is created. The category ID is a foreign key to the categories table. As you must have guessed correctly, one user will have many blogs. At the same time, one category will have multiple blogs. I hope you got the requirement of this project and you are ready to implement it. So all the best for your programming. Thank you very much.